Hello, welcome to the session of SOS Berlin Jock Cockpit Demo. My name is Mahendra and today I am presenting you a very quick overview of Jock Cockpit Dashboard. So let's log in into, into Jock Cockpit. As soon as we log in, we will be presented with a very comprehensive dashboard. This dashboard provides a bird's eye view of your job scheduler environment, um, what is happening right now in your job scheduler uh, environment, how many orders are being right now executed, how many of them are planned. Now you see you um, master cluster status. This particular uh, widget represent my master cluster status. I'm running a single master right now and you see it is running and it's green so everything is okay with my, my, my master cluster. Then we also have here the agent cluster status. Uh, right now a couple of my uh, agent clusters are being shut down uh, and they're not they're unreachable. If you want to see more detail about those unreachable agent cluster you can always click on uh, the label here or on the pie chart itself. Another interesting widget here is agent cluster running task. So the new, uh, the Jock cockpit actually complement the new ar architecture of platform independent agents and uh, master cluster. So right now, uh, none of my tasks are running on agents. Most of the tasks are running on a local master. This is also um, can be um, can be configured that couple of tasks run a master and other runs on uh, remote agents. Then uh, there is a very interesting widget here, which is called order summary. This widget represents a current status of all your orders. So how many of them are? So for example, here is pending, how many of them are uh, planned, then you see these numbers are constantly changing. So it is uh, been, um, so you don't have to refresh your dashboard or any of the widget to get the latest information. The dashboard and every widget and even the entire GUI, uh, the new Jock cockpit has been refreshed using events. So as and when uh, things are happening in the system, GUI will actually be, uh, the changes will reflect immediately in the GUI. So now you see we have uh, uh, running running orders. We have couple of one suspended order. Couple of them are also waiting for resource. A resource could be a task, uh, a lock, a process class, or a agent cluster. So you will know for which particular resource this order is waiting. You can also see the blacklisted orders here. So this is something which is right now happening in your system. Then when you move to the right, you have here the order summary. This is now history actually. So what has been executed in the past? You see you can even select what has been actually uh, executed last hours and these numbers will uh, will automatically uh, actually uh, update it as and when uh, orders are finished. So you see um, then if you move to the move to the bottom uh, bottom of the GUI you, we have this daily plan overview. This is basically a forecast uh, so all the orders which are planned in your system uh, are actually constantly compared with the actual executions. So uh, here we see successful orders. So the orders which are planned for a specific time executed exactly on the same time are successful orders. Then we also have the orders which are basically planned for a specific time, but they started not on exact time, but bit later, but they are still considered successful late orders. Then we have late orders. Um, there are some orders which are planned, but they're not executed on time. You can actually click and you can see why they are not executed. Uh, then there are waiting orders. They are planned, but the time is not yet. Um, so they, they, are, they will be executed in the future. The other interesting uh, uh, aspect about the dashboard is that uh, the whole, uh, the entire dashboard, you can always click and click on certain numbers or links and you will be then um, presented with the detailed information. So one example I want to show you is here. If I click on this particular number, successful orders in last hour, um, I will be actually then uh, redirected to the history. And in the history, then we have successful orders, last hours, and I can see all the successful orders in last hour, uh, last one hour, uh, I can see. Another th very quick um, thing is you can click here 
on the status and you will be presented with a uh, with the log from that particular order and the job chain so you can have a very quick access this particular feature is very very helpful when you have couple of failed orders you can click and you can quickly go through each and every failed order and then decide on next course of action so uh, let me take you back on the dashboard um, this is very quick overview of the dashboard um, hope um, you enjoyed uh, this video uh, thank you very much for your time my name is Mahendra and I will See you in the next videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Off with the Zen.